All right now with me. So tell about yourself. Um, so I'm Navitha Bandara from UCS College. I had three, three years in the A-level examination with an ECS score of 2.2527. I'm from BioStream and uh, my distinct rank was 102. Right. So now with me, can you tell about how you got into Geetzers and Geetansers class? Um, so when I be, uh, began A-level, I realized that uh, what was there as theory was not exactly what was asked as questions in the exam. So I wanted to find a paper class. When I looked, I found Geetzer. That's how I met him. And Geetzer, during my school exams, I got an F during the exam. So again, I was looking for an individual teacher to improve my marks. That's how I met Geetzer. Right. So going from all the way from an F to all the way to three A's in the A-level examination. Tell me more about your journey with Geetzer and Geetzer. Geetzer, I started online and we eventually did uh, in physical class individually and then I joined his RTPC class. For Geetzer, what made him suitable for me was uh, the fact that he was no nonsense. He concentrated deeply in what mattered, what uh, came for the exam. Like I've heard that 80% of the Result comes from 20% effort and sir showed me what the 20% was so I could get the maximum effort which made chemistry effortless for me that was the subject I had to work the least for. Uh, with Ethan sir, he was good at uh, like repeating sir, stuff, showing me like the process so I could start from the beginning and build up towards the end to the answer. I um, tended to focus on the details not the main theory and how to build up from there and thus I could only ask a few questions, but by making myself thorough, I understood how to complete all the questions and also Geetha sort of like made me believe in myself. I, could, I felt that I couldn't do physics, but he believed in me and he always upped me up and that I think made the greatest impact and uh, what mattered the most for me to get there. Hello Pasidu. Hi. So first of all, let's talk about yourself and your results. My name is uh, Pasidu Rajapaksha and I'm from Ananda College. And for my A-levels, I had a uh, first try, I had three A's, yeah. Right. So, Pasidu, let's talk about how your A-level journey went and how Geet Answer and Geet Sir helped with your chemistry and your physics. Yeah, so when, when we talk about my A-level journey, it's kind of a different one from the others because I could say I did some extras as well with parallels with my A-levels. As in, uh, I was the concert master of a Western Orchestra Fan on the college. As well as I also participated in and won the All Island Chamber Orchestra. I led that group, and I also played in the Colombo Music Chamber Society of Sri Lanka. And all of these was done during my first two years of my A-levels, and it's the A-level year and the previous year. So I could say I am a little bit qualified to say how to manage your time, and if you are doing any extras with parallel to A-levels. So yeah. So first. Uh, I should say that uh, I started with Geetza from the beginning. Then I met Geetza answer during down the road from Geetza. And uh, when I'm when we talk about uh, my A-level journey, while go, going through all of these stuff, as in uh, while doing my extras, there were three points, three main uh, goals that I had in mind to balance all of these. As in, I would say first is to stick to your goal, and second one is to uh, have discipline about your goal, and third one is work efficiently if you have three if you main uh, if you complete these three objectives i think you should be able to manage something else to a certain level with your errors so when i when i speak about uh, having a strict goal that means don't have a plan b See, the plan b act as a safety net in which it doesn't allow you to go to your max potential so uh, don't have a plan b that doesn't mean if something happens to errors you are done that's not the point but while doing errors, don't have a safety plan that won't allow you to go to your max potential. So whatever happens, you should have your goal to get to your uh, required status. As in, if your goal is to be an engineer, no matter what happens, so if your goal is to get three A's, no, ma no matter what happens, you should get there. So I think that would help in especially unexpected situations. As in, even if you worked all of your, uh, like during, the, during two years, unexpected stuff would happen in the end. So what would keep you away from uh, going down the bad road would be having a strict goal. So whatever comes in your way, you will stick to your goal. And the second one is, so the first one also could be used as motivation during your A-levels, during bad times. And second would, one would be working efficiently. Let me take that example. There are two persons. One was 20 hours, the other one was 5 hours. 
but the one who has 20 hours put his time and effort into something that doesn't uh, help as much as the others as in uh, you focus your energy on the wrong direction not the exact direction as in you give your attention to minor details and not the major stuff but the one who works five hours he likes uh, he works more efficiently as in he studies for the paper he knows what he has to study he has an overall idea of what to do i think that would be much efficient when it's if you are like someone who has struggling with time management if you're someone who's doing lots of sports and other stuff so I think that would help you a lot. So work efficiently rather than uh, even attention to how much how much time do you work. And third one would be uh, having discipline. Discipline is because I think motivation is temporary. It lasts two or three days. Discipline lasts for much longer time. As in, uh, you have to keep certain restrictions for yourselves during these two years. As in, uh, that doesn't mean you are going to be perfect. As in, uh, when you start years, you don't come with a result. During the journey, you only find a result, as in the way you study, the way you, uh, the time you wake up. But time is much more comfortable for you to study. Those stuff you might not uh, get your result from the beginning. So during the uh, two years of failures, you might find uh, different changes. So uh, I would say having discipline is one of the other major factors, as in uh, you should think like think like this. So during even my level days, I had like few days which I haven't done any work. I think anyone is related to that, you know, like the best island rankers, they don't work 24 hours every day. There are some days which are bad to them. So what's discipline is not giving up on other day. So you have to skip that day and start from the next day onwards. Especially since I had uh, restricted time, but hell, uh, what, one of the techniques that I used was watching recordings. So my time was very limited to me, so I couldn't uh, risk going to like physical classes from the early days because I had some other stuff. So what I did was I went through a uh, socially Geats and Geats and Sanskrit through Ace Academy and uh, that did save me a lot of time. And uh, you have to keep in mind that even if you did all of these during your A-levels, like even if you had worked all of these, A-levels could go wrong. That doesn't mean like if you had done all of the stuff that you had to do, your A-levels might not go as you planned. So to prevent that, I would say go to RTBC class that gives you the prior uh, experience that you need for the A-levels. As an example, for Geet and Geet Answers paper classes, they, I think, did almost 20 papers. So imagine doing A-levels 20 times prior. So you have the experience, you have, you are like much more comfortable with the stress and the pressure. So I would say that that was a big investment of my time because it gave me prior experience of the ALS and the pressure that I felt. So I would definitely recommend going for RTVC classes and that's probably mostly all and I'm very thankful for uh, my teachers and others who will help me through. Yeah, that's all.